In this video we are going to be drawing ourselves a square using Python code. Now we're not just going to draw one square, we're actually going to draw four squares. We're going to do each one a different way. There's multiple ways you can draw in Python, so we're going to have a look at a few of those now. Okay, we are going to be using the turtle library as well to draw these up. So to get started, open up Python and I need you to make yourself a new file and get a blank screen like so. Now before we get started on anything, the first thing we need to do, since we want to draw in Python, we need to import the turtle library. So that's a library of code written by somebody else, and it'll save us writing all that extra code. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new window pop up uh, when we run our app. So I'll just write window equals, so I created a variable there, window equals turtle, so that means that we're now accessing this turtle library turtle.screen with a capital S and then an open and close a bracket at the end and that just runs a function called screen that will make a new screen or a new window pop up on our page when the codes run. Um, after that I'm going to use something new here turtle.speed. This is how quickly the turtle is going to draw the shapes on the screen. Zero is the quickest okay it almost happens instantaneously and then we go basically a number between 1 and 10 I think it is so I'm going to go about halfway through and I'll go speed 5 the higher the number the quicker it will go the lower the number the slower it will go unless you've got 0 because that is the quickest number just to confuse you a little bit there um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write turtle.pen size and put 5 in brackets as well Okay, and that's just going to be the stroke or the border of the squares that we draw it's going to be set to I think it's 5 pixels we're measuring in there Alrighty, so that's got the um, basics set up. The first thing I'm going to do now is draw the outline of a square. So I'm just going to write draw the outline of a square as a comment, just so people know what we're doing for the first square. Uh, we're going to write in turtle.pen up. Okay, when we first run the code, the turtle pen is down, so it's going to be drawing wherever the turtle moves. But I don't want the turtle to draw straight away, because we're actually going to move the turtle to another position on the screen, and I don't want the line to follow him to that position. So I'll write turtle.pen up, bracket, bracket. And on the next line, we're going to write turtle.go to, and in brackets, we're going to give him some coordinates to go to. So the x coordinate is going to be minus 350 and the y coordinate will be 100. Just so you're aware how coordinates work in Python, just imagine a normal x and y axis, so a big cross on the screen. The center point of your screen is 0, 0. So 0 on the x-axis, 0 on the y. So by changing my x value to minus 350, I'm moving over to the left of the x-axis. And because I've got 100 for the y-axis, I'm going to go up 100. Alrighty, so that's where we get those coordinates from. Next thing we're going to do, once we're in those coordinates, we're going to put the turtle pen back down. So we'll do turtle.pen down, bracket, bracket. And then we're going to choose a color for our turtle. So the turtle color will be black. Alright, now make sure you spell color the American way and you put black inside quotation marks and brackets. So we've got our pen down on the paper, ready to draw, the color's black. Let's get this turtle moving now so the line will follow him. So we're going to go turtle.forward, and then in brackets we'll say 150. Okay, so he's going to move forward 150 pixels. Then we'll do turtle.left, so we're going to turn the turtle 90 degrees left. And then we'll do turtle.forward again. Oh. So turtle dot forward, and we're going to do 150 again, and then we're going to turn left 90 degrees again. So turtle dot left 90 degrees. Okay, so you can see a bit of a, um, a pattern going on here. We're actually just going to copy and paste this another two, another couple of times there. So we've got four different sides of the square being drawn. We go forward 150, turn left. Then we go forward another 150 and turn left, and then so on until we've got our square drawn. Once it's drawn, the final thing I want you to throw in is just turtle.pen up. So our pen is taken off the piece of paper or basically the document window, and we can no longer draw for the time being. Let's save that and test it, and we'll see if that's working. Okay, I'm just going to call it squares. 
and we'll run that module and hopefully we get ourselves a square being drawn there it is okay, pretty straightforward so far so that's the first one down let's draw a second one now um, we're going to do the outline of a square using a for loop this time so as you saw here we repeated a lot of code over and over again and we can shorten that down by simply using a loop so we write the code once so just these two lines and just tell the computer to loop it over and over until we've got a square drawn so let's write draw the outline of a square using a for loop all right so what we're going to do for that one is we're going to go turtle dot go to we're just going to choose a position for our turtle to go to and it's going to be minus 175 whoops put the brackets there so minus 175 and 250 for the y value after that we might change the turtle color so turtle dot color so in brackets and quotation marks i'm going to choose magenta that's like a fluoro pink and then we're going to put the turtle pen back down so turtle dot pen down bracket bracket so the pen's now on the paper ready for us to draw the second square okay so as i said before we need a for loop so for i in range and we'll put four your squares have four sides okay so we've got a range of four here so that means we're going to repeat the code below four times um, don't forget you need to put a colon at the end of the line there after the four in brackets and we press enter and you'll see that your code becomes indented and now we just write in the code from above so turtle dot forward 150 and then turtle dot left 90 that's all we need to write there and the final thing I'm going to do is just do turtle dot pen up bracket bracket okay and turtle dot pen up is no longer indented either it's back to the left hand side of the page so that there is a quicker way to draw a square than repeating yourself up here okay so let's test this out now we'll see if we get a second square being drawn um, let's go to file save if you haven't saved it yet just call it squares and then go to run and run module so we get the first square drawn all right the second one's drawing but it's obviously too high so we need to bring that y value down so our y value is sitting just here okay I might bring it down level with the other one which is 100 we'll see what effect that has on it whoops I just bumped a six when I did that all right let's try again there we go looking good so we've got two squares side by side both look exactly the same they're just coded in different styles so this one with a for loop this one just the longer tedious way to do it okay so we've got that sorted let's do another square now with a multi-colored stroke so I'll just write multi colored stroke square all right and again we're going to use a for loop for this one just slightly different to the one we did so we're going to go turtle dot go to and in brackets um, we're going to write in zero and then 100 it's so going down to the next line we'll just put in turtle dot pen down bracket bracket which shows we are ready to start drawing now and i'm going to create another for loop so i'll just write four i'm just going to put a bit of space here so you can see this better all right so we write the word four and i'm going to change the word you can see up here we used i I'm going to change it to colors. So four colors in, and I'm going to write the colors I want to use for my multicolored border. Okay, so in square brackets and then quotation marks, I'm going to write yellow, close my quotation marks, comma, and then red, and then purple, and then the last one's going to be blue. Close the quotation marks, close the square brackets, and then do a colon at the end, which shows the code we are going to loop over and over f a few times here. Okay, so obviously it's a square, and the first line is going to be yellow, second line red, third line purple, fourth line blue. Okay, so we're going to write in turtle dot color, spelt the American way, and then in brackets we write colors. The Australian way okay so the color of the turtle is going to be found in this little function up here or this for loop called colors um, after that 
we tell the turtle to move, so turtle dot forward, and we're going to do the same as before, so he'll be going forward 150, and then turtle dot left will be 90 degrees, and then outside of that loop now, so we're going to go to the next line and just push our cursor back to the left of the page, like turtle dot pen up, bracket, bracket. Okay, a little bit confusing, but basically this loop has got four parts to it. So the first time the loop goes around, we have yellow as our color. We move forward 150, turn left 90 degrees, come back around into this colors part here, and we take red for our next color. Okay, red, we go forward 150, turn left 90 degrees, and go purple, and then blue. So I'll save that by pressing Control S and then F5 to run. There's how our squares are looking. So far so good. We've just got one to go now. Alright, so let's go down, put in a hashtag, and what are we doing here? We're going to draw a square and fill it in with a colour. So we'll just write filled square with stroke. So we're going to put a border on it too. Um, that's looking good, so let's start coding that section. So we're going to go turtle dot go to, and in brackets, 175, 100. So they're the X and Y coordinates. After that, we just press Enter, and we change the color. So turtle.color, spot the American way, and in brackets, we start with the stroke color. So we go orange, we put a comma, and then choose a fill color. So my fill color is going to be yellow. On the next line, we'll just put the turtle pen down, so it's now ready to draw. So bracket, bracket at the end of that. And then we do turtle dot begin underscore fill, which is saying the shape we code in next will need to be filled this color. Okay, all the colors above. Um, so now we can do the loop. So another for loop. So for i in range four, because so we've got four sides to our square. And the code we want to repeat. Oops, I forgot to put a colon after that four. The code we want to repeat is turtle dot forward and then 150 in brackets and then we turn ourselves turtle dot left 90 degrees. Okay, outside of that you can come down now and we just end the fill off. So turtle dot end underscore fill bracket bracket and we'll put in the usual line window. I think it was window. Yep. Window dot exit on click bracket bracket. And that will close our program once we've clicked on it anywhere on the screen. So let's save this by pressing Control S and see if we get four rectangles or squares. Beautiful. So they each serve a different purpose. Okay, so if you ever need to draw some shapes, just refer back to this video, I reckon. We've got filled square with stroke, we've got multicolored strokes, we've got the outline of a square. What was the other one we had to do? Um, oh yeah, just draw a normal square up here. Too easy. Okay, so that will probably do us for this video. I'll get you to save that up and I'll catch you in the next one.